All right, so let's move beyond AI chatbots just for today. AI has made amazing progress when it comes to writing our emails or scheduling our calendar or now creating amazing video. But AI is being used in research all around the world in kind of crazy ways. Mount Vesuvius exploded in AD 79, so we're closing in on 2,000 years ago. And due to that, many of the scrolls carbonized, meaning they are completely encased in stone, more or less making them unreadable because we can't unroll them, we can't open them. Well, due to modern uh, imaging technology with things like x-rays and MRIs and CT scanners, we've been able to kind of find out what's in there, but because of the way scrolls are rolled up on top of each other, deciphering what is in what layer and how to read that has been really, really difficult. Well, due to some specifically trained AI tools, we're now actually able to read some of the Vesuvius scrolls, which is kind of amazing. It's unlocking pieces of history we thought had been completely lost. Now, side note, most of those pieces of history are actually super boring right now. One of them was a receipt. Um, but it's still interesting, the fact that we can do that. And another AI uh, tool that's actually come out is using AI imaging to verify whether or not painting, specifically Renaissance-era paintings are authentic or not. During the era of the majority of Renaissance painting, the, the, most of these great masters, things like Rembrandt and some of these others, would have entire schools where they would teach their style of painting to students. So there were a lot of copies of some of our more famous artworks that were done by the students. The master would do the original and then students would do their best to copy it under his tutelage. Well, figuring out which ones were due to his school, his students, his pupils, or his master work is sometimes actually very blurred. It's very difficult. Well, AI is extremely good at recognizing specific patterns, including down to the actual brush strokes. This is the kind of stuff where I've mentioned before, AI is gonna get into some very niche use cases in the very near future. And we're gonna see some hyper-specific AI tools come out like open evidence for doctors and some of these others where we're going to actually see massive amounts of human work, the ability for a person to get more done more efficiently due to AI speeding up their workflow. Let me know what you think of these down in the comments below and we'll chat more again next time.